Put the lotus sticks you bought back into a bowl. Add flour and salt and then rub them repeatedly. Let's take a look at this lotus stick. The lotus is big and fat. We'll rub it repeatedly to remove the sticks. It is very easy to clean the sticks of lotus with strong mucus and fishy smell. Let's carefully demonstrate how to clean a large stick of lotus. Pull up a stick of lotus. First, remove the jagged plugs on the left and right sides. Then pull off the strips of skirts that are pulled back and forth. When I bought it, the stall owner helped to remove the intestines and gills, but it was definitely not thorough enough. Next, cut the rotten part of the lotus stick to remove the silt inside. The places with silt will not be too deep, so just cut it shallowly. After opening it, let's take a look inside. There is still a lot of sludge on the surface. Rinse it clean. The structure inside is in the state of bean dregs. No matter how you rinse it, it will not fall off. The round cake-shaped thing is the kiln pillar of the lotus stick. One end of the intestine is fixed on it. It is not cleaned up, clean it out. Part of the intestines are attached to the skirt. After checking, we found the intestines and cleaned them thoroughly. Take a look. This section of the skirt is attached to a long section of mud intestine. After washing the lotus stick thoroughly, we cut the skirt into sections and cut the lotus stick meat into pieces. The taste of black ginseng is delicate, crispy, tender, smooth and nutritious. We will combine it with lotus sticks and use the delicious and mellow soup of lotus sticks as a foil. This way, the big black ginseng will become more delicious. Soak the black substance on the surface of the big black ginseng, then wash it clean and cut it into pieces. The third ingredient of this dish is to prepare an appropriate amount of water celery and cut it into sections. The water celery has been soaked overnight and the saltiness has been reduced to a very low state. Finally, prepare some ginger and chives. All the preparations have been done. Now we start the formal cooking. Preheat the wok. Add a proper amount of rapeseed oil and a little bit of lard. First put the ginger slices into the wok and fry them until dry and fragrant. Then put the scallions into the wok and stir fry until fragrant. Then put the lotus sticks into the wok and fry them directly. This time it is different from the previous method. The lotus sticks are not blanched. After repeated frying, it becomes compacted and the water is lost, thus removing part of the fishy smell. Squeeze the water out of the pickled vegetables and add them to the lotus sticks and fry them together. After frying, add a proper amount of huadiao wine and then add enough boiling water.
After adding enough boiling water, boil it again, then cover the pot and turn to the lowest heat to slightly cook the lotus sticks. Slowly cook it for one or two hours. After that, the lotus sticks become cooked and soft. At this time, we put the cut sea cucumbers into the pot and simply fry them for about one hour. It takes only two to three minutes. For seasoning, you only need to add two to three grams of salt. Sea cucumbers are particularly tender. The cooking time should not be too long. They can easily absorb the fresh soup in the pot. Therefore, the cooking time should not be too long. If the time is too long, the sea cucumber will become mushy and lose its crisp and tender taste. Finally, sprinkle some white pepper powder and you can serve it on a plate. Finally, garnish with a little garlic flour. This way the dish is completely done. The soup is delicious, rich and mellow. The old lotus stick is particularly fragrant. The sea cucumber is absolutely delicious, delicious version.